Welcome to the Beaver Street Farmers Market. This is one of my favorite places to shop. It's amazing because often there's more selection here than at a grocery store and the prices are cheaper. I love it also knowing that many of the things that they have for sale come from not far away within 100 to 150 miles for most items. Just like shopping at a grocery store, you want to be selective in what you choose, keep an eye on things, kind of pick things up, smell of them, look at them closely. One of the things I always look for is how they're storing their produce. Sunlight is great when you're trying to get a tan with sunscreen. However, it's not so great for your produce. And so when I come to a stall that has areas that are in the direct sunlight and areas that are in the shade, I tend to go for the produce items that are closer to the shade or in the shade. Um, they tend to be a little fresher. Also, ask questions. Whoever is at the booth normally has spoken with wherever the produce came from, the farmers or the people who transport it from the farm, and they don't mind answering questions. And you can learn a lot about what's fresh, what's available, where it came from, and sometimes even a recipe or two. One of my favorite greens, which is a great source of calcium, potassium, vitamin K, is collard greens which are also an excellent source of folic acid. It's important with greens and folic acid in any form um, that you not cook them too much. So I'm gonna share one of my favorite recipes, which is actually in the April edition of Health Source Magazine for a collard green salad that's not cooked. You can also look at the stem end of greens and other vegetables to kind of tell how dry it is and how long it's been since they've been picked. You can tell this isn't cracked. It's nice and solid, and the greens are still a little wet. But they're really fresh. They're in excellent condition. Now, if you want to go the easy route, some of the vendors also sell their vegetables already chopped and ready to cook. This is a great way to take some of the work out of working with fresh vegetables, but I like to chop them myself, to be honest. So, wow. Believe it or not, this is cabbage. Is it just me or do you feel a little cheated by what they sell in most grocery stores? I mean, look at this thing. It's as big as my head. <laughs> and it's wonderful because it comes from Hastings, not far away. So you're supporting our local agriculture by buying some local cabbage. You know, we're lucky too because we're not far from Vidalia. And so it's not difficult to find sweet onions. These are so delicious this time of year. I love a farmer's market tomato. It's so much better than what you can get at the grocery store because they're not normally refrigerated. You should actually not ever refrigerate a tomato. It changes the flavor and texture. Also, for some foods, like mangoes and avocados, you want them to be a little bit soft but not squishy. And it really does smell great. If you like salsa, or Latin flavor, this may be for you. These are called tomatillas, and they have a paper coating, and sometimes they have a sticky sap on the inside. But once they're peeled, you can see they look very much like a green tomato, but they taste kind of like a very tart apple. They add a really nice citrusy flavor and freshness to salsa and other dishes. I even like to throw them in my enchiladas sometimes. Look at how bright and fresh these radishes are. Man. Asparagus tends to dry out very quickly, so really check your stems on this to make sure that it hasn't dried too much. You don't want it to look split or cracked. You can tell they're keeping a moist paper towel in the bottom so that this is going to stay fresher longer. If you buy corn on the cob, the best way to keep it the sweetest is to keep it wrapped in the husk until you're ready to cook it. And don't wait very long. Cook it as soon as possible. As soon as it's picked, the sweetness starts to decline. So if it was harvested yesterday or today, you're going to want to eat it probably for dinner tonight and get the most flavor. Okay, how much for one apple? A quarter? Okay, we need green onions and collard greens, and we are done. How much are these? These are two for a dollar. Perfect, that we can definitely do. 
<laughs> These look so good. All right, I think my basket's full. Let's go cook. You can truly support local agriculture in many ways by shopping at the farmer's market.